Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally back and doing some makeup for you all. It feels like it's been forever just because those two videos that went up when I took my little break were pre-recorded. Um, other than the booktube one, the haul was pre-recorded. Um, so it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and been able to put makeup on my face and talk to you all. Um, I am going to talk about what happened in this video for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or aren't friends with me on Facebook. Um, I did suffer a orbital bone fracture. So we're going to talk about what happened, how it got fixed, uh, how I'm healing up and everything like that. But I want to thank everybody who has stuck around on the channel. Sometimes it's really hard for small creators to be able to take a break even for stuff like this and not get a lot of backlash for it for some reason. So thank you everyone who stuck around and everybody who has reached out and wished me well. I am feeling much better and uh, I'm following doctor's orders. I'm being good. I am allowed to do this. So uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, and we are doing a Tiana makeup look, if you can tell by the title. So I am continuing my princess series. Uh, this is the second to last one. There's one more. So make sure you stick around for that and check out all the previous ones. Um, and yeah, let's get into it and talk about what happened to my face. <laughs> so the first color we're going to be taking is the Aura and Out palette it is going to be Fresh Cut. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush. This is a matte, pale, kind of chartreuse, puce, kind of neon green color. And we're going to use this basically as our transition color. So this is the first time that I'm doing makeup since my eye surgery. And as you guys can see, I mean, I still have a scar and a little bit of bruising here. Um, and you can kind of almost see in this lighting where the bruise kind of comes around is actually where I have a metal plate uh, implanted in my face now. So what happened, if you guys missed it, um, is I play co-ed softball and we were playing a game and it was like the second inning so very close to the beginning of the game our third baseman was trying to make a double play so he stepped on third and he there was someone running toward me and because i was catching i was behind home plate and so as the runner was coming to me i lost sight of the ball and then as the ball was coming to me it hit me right here so uh, it hit me, I went down to the ground, I screamed, you know, my, my nose was bleeding. It was a very uh, traumatic incident, not to mention uh, my whole family basically plays on the team with me and were there watching us and so they watched the whole thing happen. Like my mom's on the team, my dad's on the team, Sean's on the team, uh, my cousin, my uncle, everybody is on the team. So they... Um, you know, they ran up to me. I was on the ground. I got up, my aunt helped me up. And then I uh, was taken in the car. We drove to the fire department because we had already called and said that I was coming and I needed an ambulance. And then the ambulance from another fire department met us there because they, other, the fire department that I was going to was on another call. So they had to call other people to take me to the hospital. So I was taken in the ambulance to the hospital. This eye was completely swollen, like out to here. It was really, really, really big. Like it looked like a softball was underneath my skin. I went to the hospital and they gave me some ibuprofen and some stuff to get the swelling down and stop the nausea because my stomach felt really, really awful. And then uh, I got a head and face CT and they determined that I have a fracture along here, which is still broken. And then I had a complete blowout of my orbital bone underneath here. I can go into the Just My Luck palette and go into Kiss My Haas and a pencil brush. And we're going to darken up our crease. No concussion and no broken nose, which I really thought my nose would be broken, uh, but it is not. So that's at least one good thing. So uh, they determined from that that I would need surgery basically. And I went and saw a plastic surgeon a couple days after I had gotten out of the hospital. I came home that day from the emergency room um, and I was in the emergency room for about four hours. And so 
when I got home, I was just really tired and I wanted to rest and relax. So uh, my family came over and just checked on me. You know, the people from the game, the guy who threw the ball, he felt terrible, obviously. Um, like I babysit his kids. So they felt awful. Um, and the other team, like some people had reached out to me like after it happened and were asking if I was okay and everything. Like so many people reached out and it was nice to just, like people I didn't even really know, they just wanted to know how I was doing and um, you know, what the doctors had said and stuff. So yeah, I ended up, let's see, that happened on a Sunday. That Thursday I went in for surgery and on Wednesday night I posted the video saying like I wouldn't be on YouTube for at least a week or two uh, while I was recovering. So I went under, I was only in surgery for 30 minutes. My doctor was absolutely amazing. He made me feel really comfortable and you know, really confident that he wasn't gonna mess up my face. <laughs> And so I came out of surgery and I came home same day and I had stitches completely under this eye. So all of this was cut open and pulled down and then the plate was implanted. So what the doctor told me that when the ball hit, it shattered this bone here and all the shattered bone actually dropped down and was sitting along my sinuses. So that's why I had like a stuffy nose when I went into the ER because the bone was pressing on my sinuses. So all of that has been cleaned up, sucked out and uh, taken care of so it won't be a problem in the future. And basically I should have no issues with my eye or my face uh, unless I get hit or something again. Uh, I do still have to go to the optometrist. I have another follow-up appointment with the plastic surgeon uh, for like a one month thing very soon and then uh, I have to go to the optometrist just to make sure my vision it hasn't been impaired and I can already tell you that it hasn't like I can see perfectly fine out of this eye I often cover this one and look around with this one just to make sure that uh, it's okay and it is the scariest part for me honestly was getting the stitches pulled out because I have a phobia of feeling things being pulled out from skin so getting the stitches pulled out was really scary but uh my doctor did a great job and it was over in two seconds i'm going to go in here and go into big banks and we're going to put this on the outer corner of our lid so i was not allowed to wear makeup for some time so this is my first time doing it and this is obviously still swollen and a little tender so i'm interested to see how it all comes out. My skin has like went through a little bit of a change because of the antibiotics and all of the stuff I got before surgery. Um, you know, obviously the anesthesia and everything that I was under. My skin got very dry because and um, this all broke out because I had a patch here and a head wrap to cover this the first day that I came home to make sure that none of the stitches were getting disturbed or, you know, infected or anything like that. So I basically was in bed for three days, I would say, after the surgery, just because I was exhausted um, and the pain and everything. I'm gonna take another flat packing brush and go into Chances Are, which is this light kind of sea foamy green we're gonna put that on the inner half um so yeah it's been a very interesting end of summer start to fall i usually am quite ahead on my looks this time of year because i try and film my halloween stuff in conjunction with my regular stuff but obviously that was all put on hold uh because I did have a September series I was going to do, but that obviously is not happening um, unless I rearrange some things in my schedule, but I'm not trying to push myself too hard. I'm not trying to put too much makeup on at a time just because I still want uh, my eye to rest and not be like moving things around trying to take everything off. 
we're gonna go back into the aura and out palette and go into healing heart which is a spoiled green and pop this on the inner corner um so yeah i'm just trying to take things one thing at a time like yesterday was the first day that i really could do um anything sort of productive i guess you would call it like i cleaned up a little bit i decluttered a bit um but i can't bend over so i still if i drop something on the floor like someone has to help me pick it up if i need something to cook or make dinner or whatever i have to bend over someone has to do it for me so sean has basically been doing all of that for me i can't really work out other than going for walks the doctor doesn't want me running or lifting weights um and he said that very specifically i'm not allowed to lift weights so i am listening to the doctor's orders because the thing is is if i try and lift weights right now i could potentially blow out where the incision was made because that skin is still healing technically and is very sensitive or i could shift the plate around and they would have to cut me open and start all over and i don't want that i have my lashes on this one is not totally pressed down in the inner corner i know but that is mainly because this inner corner is still super sensitive from where my stitches were and i'm just not trying to mess with it too much so now I'm going to do my base because my skin is so dry. I'm going to take the First Aid Beauty uh, Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And this is for sensitive skin and it is very pink. So I am hoping that not only will it brighten my skin up because I do feel like it looks a little dull, um, that it will moisturize as well. And I'm doing this with a brush just because I don't want to get like... I don't want to poke myself with my nails because I've done that a couple times and let me tell you it does not feel good so basically I'm wrapping up the princess series obviously uh, I have one more look after Tiana and that's gonna be Anna from Frozen um, and I'm gonna do this series again I do have um, another list that people suggested of ones obviously I haven't done Cinderella I haven't done uh, Elena of Avalor, someone said they wanted to see, and also like Sophia the First, so like some of the newer princess stuff that they've come out with. Um, and then there was another one as well that is slipping my mind. Oh, uh, Kidda from Atlantis, and uh, the girl from the Black Cauldron, whose name I can't pronounce. So I have all of those written down and ready to go. Uh, but for now, I have one princess after this, which I'll hopefully get up this week here. And then we will dive into my other projects. Foundation, I'm gonna use the matte and poreless. We're gonna see how this goes. Again, I haven't done any makeup since my surgery. So I have no idea how this is all going to come together. Hopefully it'll look okay. By the end of it so i'm gonna do my base off camera just because it's kind of monotonous but i just wanted to mention the primer i did my foundation concealer and powder and obviously i used the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer and it actually covered up most of the bruising i'm actually pretty impressed with how that turned out so that is good to know if you have bruising on your face somewhere uh it will cover it up um and then also i used the fit me uh, powder just to kind of set everything down and also uh, take out some of the shine around my scar so it's not as prevalent but obviously it's still very swollen and that plate is right there pushing under the skin so eventually I think it will all kind of fill in as my you know the fat on my face kind of goes back to where it's supposed to be uh, but if it doesn't it doesn't oh well I'm just happy that my eye is firmly in my face and it's not going to drop down because that is what the doctor was really worried about so now I'm gonna take some bronzer and we're gonna contour a little bit. I'm just very happy that this whole ordeal with my face is mostly over. I mean, I do have one more doctor's appointment, but they said one to three months to completely heal. She said I'm really lucky because when the ball was coming right before it hit me, I saw it, you know, briefly and I turned my face this way so when it caught me instead of catching me square like in the middle of my head where it would have knocked me out and probably shattered my nose and who knows what else i turned and it hit me in the eye 
so they said there I could never do that again like it was so perfectly placed uh, and I'm really lucky so I'm going to take this highlight from Colourpop this is Paralune and it is a greeny highlight and this is gonna be like our base highlights we're gonna put this on first before we put the blush on because I'm gonna do like a creamy highlight and then we're gonna do like a powder highlight over top so everything's really shiny and highlighted but for blush I'm going to use Cheerio from Colourpop it's like a dark sort of color I'm gonna brush for this as well and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the blush kind of on my nose so now we are going to put the powder highlight on that we have the blush I'm going into the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, palette in Aurora and I'm going to take a little bit of Gila and put this on top now for the lips I'm going to take a brown pencil and line them and I'm going to take uh, a KVD lipstick in Hawkwind so that is it for this Tiana look hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully it looks good um and not patchy over this side of my face but i am just happy to be back to normal and be able to do makeup for you guys so if you like this video make sure you subscribe halloween is coming I, i'm doing 31 days i'm gonna bust it out even if i gotta do makeup every single day and put the video up at like three o'clock in the morning there will be 31 videos in october so make sure you subscribe make sure you check out the rest of this princess series and my last princess lookbook and i'll see you guys in the next one